Hello, this is Mark Hubbs with Eris Gone Bullet Molds. I've had several people ask me how to nitrate paper to produce combustible cartridges. There's lots of ways to do it and many videos out there, but stick with me and I'll show you how I make my papers out of coffee filters. How I nitrate them to turn them into paper to use for combustible cartridges. Stay with us. We'll talk a little bit about what uh, equipment you'll need to nitrate papers. First of all, look for a, uh, a sealable container like this. It makes things a lot easier. Uh, you can seal it up when you get done, and you can also save the solution, let it evaporate, and that way you can save the potassium nitrate for later use. And so something like this, even a shallower would work, but uh, just a resealable container. This is the the brand that I use, and this is actually a stump killer that I bought at uh, Lowe's. I think Home Depot also has it or a similar brand, and uh, it's about 99% potassium nitrate. And uh, basically, you drill holes in a stump, you pour this in, and let it sit. It helps the helps the stump rot faster to get rid of it, and also kills any activity in it. But anyway, uh, find a, a brand of powdered stump killer and read uh, the contents. You may have to go online and find a material a data a list or something that goes along with that chemical, but it'll tell exactly what's in it. And if it's at least 90% potassium nitrate uh, and there's nothing in it to uh, prohibit or to uh, keep it from flaming, then it should be good to go. Like I said, this one's about 99%. And it's about $6 a bottle, if I remember correctly. You'll need something to measure with probably a one cup and a quarter cup measure. And then the coffee filters that I like to use uh, are the, the basket style. And I prefer the brown ones uh, just because the paper looks closer to the, the unbleached paper that was used at the time. There's really no other reason. Uh, you could use white uh, just as easily. And I'm sure you could use a lot of different types of paper for this. I just prefer coffee filters because they're durable and it's easy to, uh, if they have a, some body to them, it's easy to roll the cartridges and they're durable, but they seem to burn up fairly well. You could also use the cone shaped ones, I assume, too, but I think you get more, more out of these as far as surface area to cut into the cartridge papers. Now I've started off with uh, two cups of water in my container and I'm going to add a quarter cup of stump killer or potassium nitrate for every cup of water. And you can experiment with uh, the ratio that you, you prefer. You want the paper when it's dry uh, to have a little bit of a, uh, oh, a crystalline coating on it. You'll see the potassium nitrate has crystallized on the surface of the paper when it dries. If you, if you have that, you'll know that you've got enough. So I'm going to put uh, a total of a half a cup into two cups of water. And like I said, experiment. You may, you may not need that much. And then I'll borrow something from the kitchen. Now my wife's not home, by the way, so I, I can do a lot of this without uh, being observed. But I'll, I'll use this to to try to mix up the potassium nitrate. If you know it, if it can't all mix in, uh, if it gets the liquid is completely saturated, the solution, you know that you have plenty in it. If it dissolves very quickly, then you might need to add a little bit more. But just uh, play with it. See what kind of ratio you come up with. When you have your solution completed, and you have as much of the uh, potassium nitrate dissolved as you can, just lay your papers in one at a time and you'll see they'll start to uh, soak up the liquid and you might want to put eight or ten at a time according to how many you can get in. They generally don't uh, tear very well, um, which is good. They're still pretty robust after they get wet and they're still easy to handle. Now if you have any uh, little cuts or f on your fingers or anything else or breaking the skin, 
uh, you're going to start feeling that once you get your fingers in the solution, it's going to burn a little bit. But there's nothing that's really going to hurt you. So I put about uh, I don't know, seven or eight in here. And you don't have to let them sit very long. I just put them in there basically long enough now to walk out to my uh, clothesline and uh, pin them up. Now you just need to find a place to hang up your papers. If you have a clothesline, of course that works, but there's other things you can hang from too. Uh, here is a uh, tomato cage that at this time of year has no tomatoes growing in it. Works great, I've used it many times. The hardest part is just untangling the dang things. Get them nice and flat so they'll hang straight and dry straight. On a sunny, breezy day, they'll dry in as little as 30 minutes. But it's all according to the temperature, sunlight, and uh, of course the humidity of how fast you can get them to dry. Here's some completed papers. Uh, these were done quite some time ago. These will usually dry on a, on a summer day, sunny day, uh, 20 or 30 minutes. On a winter day like now, uh, it's overcast, it's been raining, uh, the air is heavy with humidity. It may take overnight for them to dry. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny here, so it may be better. But uh, these were, like I said, done quite a while ago. And if you, it's really hard to see but the surface has just a scattering of like a crystalline powder and that's uh, some residue of the potassium nitrate which tells me that there's there's enough in here that it should should burn these things up uh, these things up pretty quickly and i suggest when you cut your papers to fold them in quarters try to follow the lines as or the edges as close as you can and then I just I put the uh, the template right on top of the quarter here and just cut out the outside edge and then inside and usually there's a little piece in the middle that's left over that I can use for end caps and that way I can cut them faster and I, I get pretty good economy out of each uh, piece of paper You can see here the uh, after this is dried, and it may take days, it may take weeks, according to how the weather is. All that uh, potassium nitrate will crystallize. The water will evaporate, and the potassium nitrate will crystallize into actually a much larger crystal uh, than you use from the powder that came out of the container. But it's all still clean, and it can all still be reused. Uh, just keep in mind. Uh, that if, if it's left in a situation where it's sealed or uh, the water that is uh, or it can evaporate it can start to mildew. Um, it won't hurt the properties of the potassium nitrate but it will get a little slimy. So uh, uh, keep it open, let it dry uh, preferably in the hot sun for a while and it will all come down to the crystals again. So how does the paper burn? Well keep in mind this is not flash paper. It's designed to self-consume as the powder goes off and uh, I think it does a pretty good job with that. Obviously within the chamber of the revolver uh, under pressure it'll uh, burn much faster even. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful to those folks who ask. I'll post uh, the links to other videos in the description to this one. Uh, especially those that show how to make useless paper to make combustible cartridges and others that may be uh, of interest to you. I'll also put a link to our website where you can learn all about the products that we offer. Uh, we have several modes uh, for recreating historical projectiles from the Civil War era.